Today we're going to be unboxing the Ferrari cross pin. Hey everybody, welcome back to our product unboxing. I am your host, Primo, and today I probably have one of the most exciting items that I've ever picked up in recent time, and I'm really excited to show it off to you, but I wanted to be able to do it in an unboxing. I wanted to be able to, so we cut it open, see what it's like, see what the box is like. This is new because you normally know we do watches, we do some of these other items in there. I think that they're loosely licensed to be usable, so I think that what happens is, is the products are kind of, they sign off on the license, but I don't think the company really gets crazy as long as they make a good product. This one I think is a little bit more involved because there's a lot to how they made these. There was very specific building tones that came into this. So maybe they had a bigger process that they went through. I don't know, but anyway, before we start, obviously like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. We're gonna go over this right now. So the first thing I have to do is kind of get it out of this wrapping paper here. So I don't wanna do this part in front of the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it till we get down to the box and then we'll cut it in one, two, three. Poof, all right. So the first thing, I, I got this off of Amazon and here is the box. Pretty simple design here, has the Ferrari thing on the back here that really kind of designates that it's a real Ferrari thing or that it's licensed by the company, which is good. I like anything that has a licensed project. So it's Ferrari officially licensed product, obviously Cross, which Cross is an amazing pin in general. I've had a couple of them. Uh, they're actually out of Providence, Rhode Island. Um, actually, we should probably go down at some point and have a feature with them. That's just seems like a no brainer for me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, one of the best pins on the market. I used them back when I was selling cars and it's really cool to make a statement both because you think about your watches, you think about, you know, necklaces, attire, all this other stuff that you kind of do to make yourself look good. Well, breaking out your cross pin is right up there with the way you should do it. So the first kind of complaint I have is because I bought it off of Amazon. I, the box looks dirty and a little dented. So there might be, you know, it, 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 they might have been some kind of overflow or something that they were trying to get rid of these. But that's the thing is, is if you're buying it in certain ways, this is kind of part and parcel of it. There can be stuff like little damage on the box. If that's a big deal for you, then, you know, may probably make the seller aware of that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I just, anything in shipping is gonna be anything in shipping. So uh, I just get used to it. Um, as long as the products inside aren't damaged, shouldn't have a problem. All right, so now it's time to unbox. And I have to say, I'm really excited about where this is gonna go. Being very, you know how I am. I'm being very careful not to break boxes here. So I always, I find it funny that when you get stuff that's a box inside of a box kind of thing, I just think that's really crazy. Normally I'd even wear my gloves, but this is my personal item. So very lightweight box, I'm trying to see if there's a little scraping here. So maybe somebody has taken this out of the box. I hope we're not in for a weird unveiling here, but here we go. Oh, oh, I felt the cutout, but I haven't seen it. So I'm going to turn it and then see, there's my pen. Nice. So let's get this, let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, nice, okay. I do feel like somebody's come into this before, maybe opened it. But that popped right out. So I'm gonna say, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe they just may opened it up to make sure that uh, everything was in here. Gifted for generations, for life, pursuit of great. So you got a little, so you got a little cross box here, cross kind of instructional manual. Since 1846, and I love the pin. The pin thing is awesome. All right, so let's put this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this over here for a second. A partnership built on passion. So let's put that there. This right here, this should hold in better. Okay, a partnership built in passion with two brands with the same passion for design and excellence come together, great things happen. Cross has partnered with Ferrari on a line of fine writing instruments 
and gift set designed to bring the spirit of Scuderia Ferrari Formula One to life for its fans. Each collectible brings together Italian artistry with American craftsmanship, creating the ultimate statement of performance design. Welcome to the Cross family. Well, I was actually a member before, so no problem there. So yeah, is there anything else hiding in here? Hello? So just a really, really nice box. Obviously it's gonna be usable later. Little piece here that, you know, you can put the pin back in if you need it. Um, I may get rid of that phone piece. Now, this right here is an amazing pen, and I'm trying not to break it, but there you go. So this is a regular, it's just a regular pen. There's basically comes in three versions. So uh, a ballpoint, there's, the, uh, there's another one I can't remember, and then they have that nice writing design one, and that one's really nice. But I love the design work that goes into this, how there's a basically like a carbon fiber feel to it but it's not carbon fiber so you know what i think our next step right here is to take this pin get it prepped a little bit and actually write with it and see how it writes okay we put the foam aside for a minute i've got a nice piece of printer paper here and there wow that just instantly came to life so that's a good sign so let's so if you guys are out there, are doctors or anything like that, and you have awful handwriting. Try some regular print, some cursive, and I don't even think I've ever written. Oh yeah, my handwriting is awful. <laughs> Now, wow, that's junk. <laughs> that's kind of the worst I've ever done. I'll do some printing here just to see how it feels. Maybe that's it. Maybe doctors don't write very well because they have really nice pins and they kind of float. So, yeah, there's that. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of not the best I've ever done. <laughs> now, so why did this come out really badly? And I think the reason is, is because this pin floats across the space. It doesn't actually, like normal pins, put up a certain amount of resistance. So they resist movement. And what happens is, is I, I feel like I have a lot of extra built up momentum in my hand. So it's almost like I want to slow down when I'm writing and then I can start to get used to how these write and the reason is is because the quality is so high so you can see kind of the balance there you go so you can see some of the balance is kind of in the back of my hand so as I'm writing I really am holding it exactly where I need to the balance is there's maybe they put weights or ballast in it or something but i just i'm amazed at how nicely it feels the quality that it looks the shield symbol on the front of it is just amazing there are a lot of other ones that they make of these that are very thin and those are impressive too i have bigger hands i'm a guitar player so uh and, and wrestling and arm wrestling and all that kind of stuff so my, i have tend to have much bigger hands and I need something that's kind of weighty and lofty. And this pen has excellent balance, both front and back. It allows me, but I have to really get used to going from kind of the junk pens that I get in most of the stuff that I, you know, vendors or stuff will send me a pen. And then you get to this and the weight is way in the back. And then you have that nice stylish pen feel. And then it just kind of lists across the, the paper. And it just seems like it's floating. So it's like I have to get used to it. <laughs> My writing looks awful. It's so bad. So it's something that you really have to get used to. If you're the a printing kind of person, I'm sure you'll get a lot more used to it uh, out of the gate. But yeah, as it comes down to it, I, I just think this is probably one of the best pens that I've ever used. And I'm amazed that a pen like this actually is uh, fairly cheap in comparison to some of the stuff that you see out there. Obviously the 
the, the exquisite writing pens that they have, the high-end stuff is gonna be a lot more expensive. With calligraphy and writing styles like that, it's a different kind of pen set. I don't think anybody's gonna be looking for, for that style of pen. Most people will be looking for something like this, and just buying the entry level or the second one up is, is really gonna be all you need. Um, and if you're more styled to the red Ferrari look, they have a red Ferrari look, and I think that red is absolutely perfect. All right, so let's move that back to its place right there. I'm gonna keep the box there because I like, like the box a lot. And then there's kind of an instructional manual here. See if there's anything specific in here that tells me how to break the pin because if anybody's gonna break it, it's gonna be me. Full perpetual warranty, all cross writing instruments and desk sets, pin holes mechanisms are unquestionably guaranteed against mechanical failure regardless of age. It's a good sign. Warning pin cap can obstruct breathing, keep out of the mouth. This product is not intended for children. Okay. I don't know how many kids are out there writing, you know, exquisite letters and stuff like that, so. So yeah, let's start putting this thing back together here and see how easy that is. There's a little hanger in here that is really what's keeping all this in. Okay, that one I hit, but then when I did it with this one, I only got one side. So that is, even though it's a cool little piece to put in there, it is kind of like a little strap, so it doesn't really want to hook in. You got to kind of find it, but once you get it in, as you can see, it doesn't want to move. This, I, I'm going to say this is just to kind of hold it in shipping, so we're getting rid of that. <laughs> so let's make sure I got my pen back like this. Put it right back in. Oh, there is a... There's a little lip here. Nothing underside it. So, you know, you could probably move all that stuff down underneath it, too. And then you put it right back into position right here, like so. And that's it. The Ferrari cross pin. I, I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that do pins that can be very... I'm going to say they could probably take a lot of things out of this pin and say they don't like it, etc., etc. You can be very picky about pins. Uh, but being a car guy myself and trying to find a pen that really just accentuates what I do at the same time having something I can take with me. If I'm spending a, a ton of money on a pen, it's not going to be something that I'm going to want to take a lot of places. Usually if like a manager or a sales manager or like a general manager, you have something at your desk that's kind of exemplary that you say, I want to make a statement. That it's something that you're going to have right on your desk and it's never going to probably leave your desk. This one, I actually like the pricing. I like the way it works. It's something that I probably would take with me pretty much anywhere I go. I'd like to be able to have that. I have my carbon fiber suitcase. Um, so it would be something I put in my carbon fiber suitcase and be able to look at somebody and say, you know, don't drop it, obviously. <laughs> But here, take this and then sign what do you have to sign, uh, like releases and things of that nature, contracts or anything that you're signing. And I think it kind of makes a statement that it says, you know, I'm serious about my, my car habit or my car hobby. And I just love the feeling of it. I love the weight of it. Uh, Cross just never seems to uh, let me down when it comes to pins. And that is very interesting for a pin. I, I'm sure they make something out there and some point will run into it, but all the stuff that I end up running to is obviously car related. And if it's car related and it's really good, then I think it's something that I would like to share with everybody. So yeah, so that's it for today. Unboxing of the cross pin. Remember any of the products that we're featuring? Uh, well, most of the products, some of the Rolexes, we, we can't be able to sell or give you a link to it. But with these, everything will be available on executiveautomotivesociety.com slash products. We'll put the link below. There's a link here you can take a look at it. Uh, remember that the top area is kind of our feature products, our personal products that are made by us. And then everything underneath it is the products that we put uh, in our videos. And you'll have this video obviously will be there with a link so that you can purchase a pin like this yourself or take a look at the other pins that they have in their lineup, which like I said, can't hurt to if you're a car guy and you've been dying to have a pin, pick up one or two and maybe in different styles too. Try out some of the big stuff. There's a lot with this that you don't realize that you can do with a cross pin that you say, hey, I'm gonna write this way or that way. I gotta have one for here, one for there. And I think that's something that people don't think about is that just like you have a watch or you have a certain suit or you have different apparel items that come with you, 
allowing your pen to be part of that equation is so important. And I think it's something that kind of isn't taken into account when it comes to business. I know you won't bring it to a party and sign things at a party, but if somebody walks into your office and they're taking a certain stock in how you sign something, or if you're there to make the deal, taking out that pen and being a part of that equation is gonna be something that just adds to the whole flavor of the communication. And it's just a classic form, well done piece of writing utensil that somebody that is, you're signing something, they'll look over and say, hey, let me take a look at that and sign something myself. And that's huge. If you have a pen that makes a statement, then it should make the statement in writing. So thank you guys for checking us out today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out all the other uh, videos that we have coming out. We're going to continue to look for items like this. We have uh, some new colognes and perfumes and stuff like that that are going to be coming in that we're going to take a look at and we might even be doing a giveaway. So keep your eye out for that. We're going to have that out soon. Don't forget to check out all these other videos. Don't forget to check out our podcast, our coverage of car shows, our coverage of different vehicles, all that stuff. We're going to be going bigger and better all the time. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon. And as always, Keep on rolling.